I need to thank you. I was really upset about Spinelli. I spaced on shipping the dresses back to Milan. And if Kate had found out, I would have been demoted to a cubicle in the ad department. So thank you. And how did you n know to do that? Purely selfish. If Kate fires one of us, she fires us both. I know you've been distracted lately, so I have been double-checking your work and following up when necessary. And you didn't even gloat about it. There's no reason to gloat. I shouldn't have blamed you for my breakup with Johnny. The problems that caught up with us were there from the start. We would have broke up eventually whether you stuck your nose in things or not, and right now I'd really like to just drop it. That works for me. Hey, that's your message you desperately needed to see me? Get out of my way. I thought you'd like to know I'm leaving town. Don't expect to be back. Why, things seem to be going your way. Uh, well, I'm restless by nature. You know, and all those yabos out there waiting to be fleeced are calling my name. So, you get your wish. Catching a flight back to Sydney and never to be seen or heard from again. Uh, what happened to your special bond with my dad? You know, two peas in a pod, right? Con artists united? You two disappoint each other already? Mm. Yeah, you're a bit too authoritative and jerky for my taste. But, you're Luke's son, and I respect that. Sure you do. I believe it a darn, mate. <laughs> you know, I don't much care. But I'm going to offer you a piece of unsolicited advice anyway. Stop trying so hard to be better than Luke, and just be glad he's in your life. You weren't here. When I confronted Ethan, you didn't see his face. For the first time since I met this kid, he totally lost his cool. It's clear that it never occurred to him that I could be his dad. So let me get this straight. By your interpretation, Ethan shows up in town with his prized possession, a dog-eared photograph of you, because Holly hands them out to every kid she meets on the off chance they're going to end up in Port Charles someday. His story hasn't changed one iota since I met him. He told me about meeting Holly, having a conversation with her where she talked about me. He told me she gave him the photograph. He also told me that she suggested that he find me. The reason being that I could teach him something. And that doesn't sound like a scam to you? Of course it's a scam. But don't you get it? It's not a scam on you or me, it's a scam on Ethan. See, she sent him here not to rob you of your money. She sent him here so that he would be on my radar and I would figure it out. That kid is my son. And I am not letting him walk out of my life until I prove it one way or the other. Okay, let me explain something to you, okay? My wife's pregnancy is none of your business. None of your business, okay? <laughs> right. you, don't, you don't get a say in how we handle it. Right. right. You understand that? Uh, y your wife happens to be the mother of my son, so I damn well do get a vote. You get me? What happens to Carly affects Michael, especially Morgan, and he's, he's, he's lost too much already, Oh, yeah, Jackson. why is that? I, I don't why care. So I'm not going to add his mother to the list, and I don't want Michael waking up to find out that his mother died because you want a child of your own. You're such a son. Well, call, am I? Am I? Stop it, stop it. Sonny, where the hell do you get off sentencing Carly to death, huh? She's got a 50-50 chance of coming out of this thing just fine and having her baby. 50% chance. Do you hear yourself? Those are terrible odds. It doesn't matter what you think. It's not about you. This isn't about you. It's about Carly making this decision with the input of her husband, not her ex-husband. All right, you know what? My Michael's going to have the surgery. He's going to wake up or he's not going to wake up, and there's going to be a lot of pressure on Carly, and you just want to pile it on. You want to make her have this baby while she's fighting this blood disorder. The pressure alone could kill her. 